St. John chapter 21, verse 15, and it reads, So when they had dined, Yahweh shall say to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? And he said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said to him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall I say for to him, feed my sheep. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith regardless of people here for a bear. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. That's what Lord Yahweh said, you know what I'm saying, to the, um, the head apostle, Peter. You, you love me? Feed my sheep. And we're going to show you what, it, what, he, what he was talking about. Because you got certain Israelite groups, they set up soup kitchens, you know what I'm saying? Um, lions where they feed they feed the homeless and things of the nature. Let's see what the Lord was talking about when He said, "Feed my sheep." Let's show you according to the Bible what He was talking about. Let's get this. Let's just get this right here, because the scriptures also say, "Man shall not not live by bread alone." Brothers can put that in the comment section too. Jeremiah, no no excuses of why we're not making videos. Ain't no excuse. The Lord don't want to hear no excuses, man. And why we ain't making videos, why we ain't warning the children of Israel. Oh, my child, my child, my woman, my my offspring, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. The Lord don't want to hear that shit, man. He, he, he really don't. No one that, that you're working for wants to hear that. A person gives you a job and they trying to they, they ask you why the job ain't being done. You work on cars. You're supposed to be working on cars, but ain't no cars getting fixed. You're a plumber, but ain't no damn toilets being plunged. You're an electrician. Ain't no wires being pulled. Whatever kind of job. you at, you at a restaurant, but ain't no burgers in the back being flipped. What, what do you think going to happen, man? What do you think going to happen? You're going to end up getting fired. And that goes for each and every last one of us. All of us got jobs, right? Well, I say, you know what I'm saying, if you're able-bodied, you know what I'm saying, the Lord um, allowing you to have a job, when you go to that job, you're going to be showing up working. You see? Sp supposed to be anyway. You, you, you building houses, but ain't no houses being built. You think, you think that person, you think that foreman is going to have you around on that job? You're on a construction job. You're, you're supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, going to get the bricks, the, 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 the damn, damn barrel, the damn wheelbarrow empty. Ain't no bricks in it. How long you think you're going to keep that job? How much more for this ministry? We all got to do our part. The Lord said, be not slothful. Look at the end. We got to do, we all got to do our part, man. We can't make no excuses of hell. The hell we're trying to make it up an excuse to the Lord. Are you serious? Lord ain't hearing no excuses, man. Look, look. He said, if you love me, feed my sheep. Jeremiah chapter three, verse 15. And it reads, all hell breaking loose. We're supposed to be letting our people know who the wicked is, who they are, according to the Bible. These different legislation and different policies and different bills that this devil is pushing. We're supposed to let them know the meaning of words. We say the word devil, but then we go into the definition of the word devil. Devil, you know what I'm saying? Which means deceiver or slanderer. You see? We let our people know what their homeland is. All that, the hour of temptation where this devil is going to make it mandatory. We got to warn them, man. Feed them with the nut. Let's get it. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors, spiritual leaders, guides, right? I will give you pastors according to mine heart, according to the heavenly father's mind. Because the word heart goes back to the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. See, the Lord said, I said, oh, man, they're going to constantly be feeding you with this word. They're going to feed you with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, which shall be the stability of thy time. This is what's keeping us stable, having faith in his word. This is what's actually keeping us stable. Do you not see all these people bugging the hell out, man? And you wonder why you're not bugging out because the Lord gave you the gift of faith. Faith is a gift. 
We got it. We can't brag that we got it and boast that we got it because it's a gift. The Lord gave different brothers spiritual gifts, man. You see, an iron sharpeneth iron. The Lord said, feed my people with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, even the ones that ain't trying to hear. Hit the highways and byways. Do these sit-down videos. Remember St. Matthew 22 and 9? You can see the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways. And what are they going to be out there on the highways and byways doing? Feeding you with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, which shall be the stability of that time. This, this place is through. It's circling the drain. We bring out the um, the economic, pretty much um, economy forecast of this place of damn doom and gloom. This devil coming in like a madman, like a flood. We let, the, we let the men of our nation know what's coming. We let the women of our nation know what's coming down the pipeline, all according to the Bible. We ain't adding, we ain't taking. Oh, yeah. And we give our people the proper name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh. That's what we feed. And that's, that's part of the meal. That's part of the meal, giving our people the proper name. Of the in the Hebrew tongue of the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. No name, no salvation. We let our people know according to the Bible who salvation is for. All that, man. You see? Let's, let's, get, let's get this. Since I said that, the, the Lord said, Feed them, man. Do you love me? Then, then feed the sheep, then. You see? This is uh, Isaiah chapter 33. Let's get this. Isaiah chapter 33. This 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 devil, this deceiver, this slander is gonna make it mandatory that you take an implantable device soon come in order to function in this digital society. And you and if you're a watchman of the Lord, and if you truly love the Lord, you're gonna be warning the people about that right there. You're not gonna be playing around all this laughing, all this joking nonsense. No, this thing is deadly serious. Isaiah chapter 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. The look, the faith in it. What's going to keep us stable? Having faith in the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, right? In these troubling times, what is keeping us stable? The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures and constantly hearing it. And look, look, and my, and my phone chimed in and constantly hearing it, man. You see? Just like um, if you're in, the, you're, in the, um, you're in the army or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You're... Um, I don't know the army tech terminology or whatever. <clears throat> Maybe what the sergeant, the um captain, whatever that dude is, you know what I'm saying? That, that's leading, leading the um the troops or whatever. He's gonna give you that pep talk to pump you up, man, to encourage you. You see? You got it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. That's pretty much what I'm saying. The promise of the Lord. Isaiah 33 and 6. Going right back to um, Maccabees too. I, I'm about to bring it out too. Isaiah, Lord's will. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his strength. This is exactly what we're feeding our people with. And I want to get this done and I'm thinking about it. Let's just get this. Um, let's see what is it, Isaiah. Bear with me. Isaiah chapter 62. Verse um, 6, Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6, and it reads, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. A people before us, a place the Lord said, I, I, those are my watchmen. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. A people before us, a place. The men that you see out there, oh, oh, the men is preaching the 100% truth according to the Bible. The Lord said, I put them watchmen out. Those are my watchmen. Because you got the promise of the Lord, and then you got to remember the scripture says you're going to discern between who's serving the Lord and who ain't. You see? So you got you to pray for that spirit of discernment of who to listen to, Israel. You see? Because the true men of the Lord, they're going to be prophesying. They're going to tell you what's going to happen before it even happens, right? I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. So the true men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be constantly hearing them. They're going to always be on the, They ain't going to take no damn breaks, man. Oh, we had, we had to go to a conference call. We couldn't make it out this weekend. We had to go to, the, we had to, go to a banquet. We couldn't make it. We had to, we had to go to a, um, a summit. We couldn't make it this week. All these damn excuses. No, the men of the Lord are going to be out there on the highways and byways. It's the end season, out of season, pursuant to 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter. Verse 2, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, keep not silence, man. You see? 
and give him no rest and give the heavenly father, the son, no rest till he established and till he made Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And that ain't happened yet. And then the Lord said, um, it's a whole lot of work, but the laborers are few. So we already know, you know what I'm saying? Us being servants of the Lord, we know we're going to have to, and Lord willing, we endure, and Lord willing, we're part of that number. We know we're going to have to put in some work. Is it, the laborers are few, man. It's a whole lot of work. So we know we're going to have to do more. You see? that's a, that's a, You come in knowing that once you read that scripture, the Lord say, look, look, the laborers are few. It's only a few of y'all, but the work is plenteous. So we know we got to do extra, man. We look, we, we come in knowing that, and, and I won't, don't want to get something else too. You see, let's this, this, get this. Matter of fact, let's, let's get Jeremiah. Let's go back to Jeremiah, Jeremiah 28. Let's just get that. Just flowing in the spirit. If he love me, feed my sheep. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. Let's just get this. And those guys in the, in the churches, those aren't the men of the Lord, all right? Those aren't the prophets of the Lord. T. Snakes, Al Sharp Tongue, Jesse Jackass Jackson, Creep Show Dollar, um, Martin Lucifer the King, which his real name was Michael, um, Malcolm X. Those weren't pro those weren't prophets of the Lord. All right. Jeremiah chapter twenty eight verse eight and it reads especially that damn Martin Lucifer the King. You know what I'm saying he didn't tell a lot of people that they was the biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. You see. Really didn't tell our people nothing. He, he went he went against the words of the Lord, all right? Didn't tell us we was from Jerusalem. Kept pushing that black stuff. Black, black, black. We ain't black, man. Jeremiah 28 and 8. And it reads, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied. So the men of the Lord, the Lord, the Lord said, you love me, right? Then go out there and prophesy. God, you love me, right? Go out there and tell my people what's going to happen before it even happened, right? The prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied told you what was going to happen before it even happened. Regardless of you here for a bell, same thing Noah did. You see? Same thing. Noah told them there was going to rain before it even happened. So it was warning them for 120 years. Nobody took heed. But didn't it eventually pay off, though? Didn't it eventually pay it off, though, his work? The Lord said, I'm not going to forget your work and labor of love, which you have showed towards my name. I got, I got to get that scripture, man. Consider the end. That's um, Proverbs 6 and 6. I might have to get that. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The Proverbs that have been before me. We're supposed to be on fire. We're supposed to be fervent for this thing, man. You see? The Lord then brought us back to our nationality of who we are, according to the Bible. We're, we're Yasha Allah, man. We're the greatest people, you know what I'm saying, created on the face of the earth. That means a lot to me. I don't know how much it means to you, and we can't make excuses. I was tired, you know what I'm saying? My schedule changed. The Lord don't want to hear that, man. None, none. I had a headache. For 24 hours? You had a headache for 24 hours? The prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied both against many countries. Me tell me you could you ain't had 10 minutes for the Lord? Go on, I ain't trying to hear that nonsense, man. I was busy. I was busy. I was busy. I was real, real, real busy. You, you ain't had 10 minutes for the Lord, so that means you ain't eating nothing all day either? You, you ain't no, no breaks or nothing, right? Just, 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 just running all day, right? Come on now. So then you got the wrong job then. You got anytime, if you got a job to where you can't even make time for the Lord, that means you got the wrong job. You see? That should that should have been clicked in your head if you ain't got time for the Lord. But you're but you gonna always want the Lord to make time for you, right? The Lord, you think the Lord ain't busy? But but what the Lord do? He makes time for us, each and every last one of us every day. And ain't none of us busier than the Lord. So you mean tell me you more busy than the Lord? For all, all you Israelite men out there to say you ain't never got no time, you don't make videos throughout the week. You go, you're just so busy. You're just so busy, right? Call up my family, my family, my wife, my wife, my wife. Come on, man. The prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied, both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. That's our job, man. You see? That's our job. I don't want to get that. Let's go to Proverbs right quick. And, and, look, and like the Lord had me going to in, in the beginning of this lesson, if someone gives you a job, someone allows you to work for them, and you don't want to do the job, guess what? Guess what they do? You 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 know. You know what they do, right? They get rid of you, you know what I'm saying? They get somebody that actually wants to work. How the hell do you think you're going to get paid? You, you, you got a job, but you don't want to work, but you want that check. 
You, that's, 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 that's crazy. Somebody give you a job. You don't want to work, but you want that check at the end of the week or every two weeks, or every month, however often you get paid. It's it crazy. Jake want to check, but Jake don't want to work. Let's get this. Proverbs 6 and 6. Go to the ant, thou slugger. Go, go and see what, how that ant make moves. That ant always making moves. That ant always moving and grooving. That ant always move, shaking and baking. You know what I'm saying? Moving and grooving, shaking and baking. Ain't that how it go? Go to the ant, thou slugger. Slugger goes into a person that's lazy. And nobody don't want to hear, nobody don't want to really be around a person that's always making excuses of why they didn't do this and, and why they didn't do that. And, and especially when someone gave her enough time to get it done, consider her ways and be ye wise. Go If you, if you want to know how to get it done, go watch the ant. The ant will show you. And the scripture up under that says, which has no ruler. You see? Ain't got nobody, ain't got nobody watching over, but get it done. They ain't get it done, man. And I want to get this while I'm thinking about it. While I'm thinking about it. Remember, the Lord said, um, matter of fact, let's just get it. Let's just get it. We're supposed to warn the people. Let's go here. I want to go here because I'm, I'm about to wrap it up. Just want, just want to get it in right quick. I was inspired by the video Elder Apostle um, Gabar just did about us just getting it in, man. No, no more excuses. Yeah, we get sick. Yeah, we get headaches. Yeah, we be tired. Of course, we tired. The scriptures say he shall wear out the saints. But then, what I just read, I read um, Jer I read Isaiah sixty-two. The Lord said, "Look, my watchmen, even though they're tired, even though they're beat down, even though they got um, body ailments and, and, and afflictions and things of that nature, they still ain't gonna keep silence, man." They ain't going to hold their peace day nor night until the Lord made Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. You see? Uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 6. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10 and reads, For the heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh, shall is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Because remember, faith without works is dead. We all know that scripture. Blessed is he that readeth. How are we going to be doing all this reading? How are we going to be doing all this watching? But we ain't wanting nobody. That's basically, you know what I'm saying, you putting your talents in a napkin. If you're not using it, hell, you got guys been around, you know what I'm saying, for years, and they made one video. Ain't never hit the highways and byways, but they got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the script. What do you think the Lord going to do to you? You've been having this knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures of the Bible for years, and you ain't made one video. You ain't hit the highways and byways one time, but you're talking about you part of the whole for elect. What? Stop it, man. Just stop it, man. The Lord, for the heavenly father is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. The Lord see the charity. The Lord, first and foremost, see us doing these videos, hitting the highways and byways, reading, studying, charity, brotherly love. All of us part of the work. All of us part of the work. The Lord said he's not unrighteous. To forget. He's not sleazy, e, man. Stop, stop acting like the Lord is sleazy. E. You can do this, that, and that. You can build sleazy e, a house. The next day, he'll say, what else you going to do? Or he'll act like that house won't good enough. Even though it was marvelous, it was a miraculous. The Lord ain't like that, man. The Lord said he ain't gonna forget our work. We gotta endure until the end, though. We got it, and that's what we gotta constantly, that's when that prayer comes in. We gotta constantly pray more. You see, pray for more endurance, pray for more prayer, pray for more faith, pray for more brotherly love, pray to be more spiritual and carnal. Whatever spiritual gifts you got, pray that the Lord increases it all the above, man. All the above. Do it now. Which have showed towards his name, toward the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. That's the name that we coming in, all right? Over here at Great Millstone, GMS, right? That's a, that's the name that we come, that's the proper name in the Hebrew tongue that we're coming in. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All you other Israelite groups, come in whatever name you want to come in, all right? Do, what you, do whatever the hell you want to do, you see? But but when all hell break loose, you're gonna try to you're gonna try then you're gonna know the name. You're gonna try to put some respect on the name when all hell break loose, but you but all hell ain't breaking loose, so you don't wanna put we, we worship a ninja god. We worship a ninja god. You ninjas are gone, man. Straight up, man. You see? Supposed to be pushing forth this work. Which you have shown to his name and, and that ye have ministered, served. The word minister means to serve. We're here to serve, all right? We was put here to serve, all right? 
to the saints, which are the Israelites, and do minister. Continue to serve, right? And we desire, that's why we're constantly praying that, um, that Psalms 51, 10, and 11, that the Lord don't, don't take his Holy Spirit away from us, man. You see? Because the Lord take that, then you're really gone, man. You're back in utter darkness, right? It says, um, and that you be, what would it say? And we desire that every one of you, verse 11, Hebrews 6 and 11, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence. And we desire that everyone, 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 everyone do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end, man. Whatever your portion is, whatever your talents is, use it to the best of your ability. The, look, the scripture said, we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence. How you going to be around you when you ain't doing that? Ain't no need for you. If you if you around, it's like a damn bump on a damn log. Just, just, just a, damn, a damn third titty, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're around, do something. The house is being built, but you sitting here with your damn hands in your pocket. Do something. Grab a spiritual broom, grab a spiritual mop. You know what I'm saying? Grab something, a dustpan, a spiritual dust. Do something. We all got to do something. We can't, we can't make ain't the hell with an excuse, man. We can't make no excuses of why we ain't doing what we was commanded to do. And remember now, on any job, when you go to sleazy each job, you put in the work because you want to get paid. But then the Lord give you the greatest job, the greatest office known to mankind. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. You got, you got an excuse of why you ain't doing the work of the Lord. Every week you got an excuse. Now, this has been excuses for years. Got, a, got an excuse in your back pocket ready to pull it out. Nobody don't want to hear that, man. Get to work. Please get the work, look, or, or not, or not. And you're only going to do, you no know, saying, what you can do to the best of your ability, but you better be doing something, though. You better be doing something, man. And look, 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 what would it say? That ye be not starting to the end. That goes for all of us that we're constantly praying, that we're enduring to the end. And when you're watching, you know, so you stand up, you're watching the news, you're keeping up with current events, you're watching these, these shows. From the elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone and the men on down, look, those shows be inspiring us to do, do, do either do a response video or to do our own video. Bring out some in the news. Bring out some man. Inspire somebody else. You know what I'm saying they, they, they want to land back of what you just did. You know what I'm saying the video you just did. You see. Warn, warn the people of what's coming down the pipeline. You find out about a new article, you know what I'm saying, that, um, that the government is, you know what I'm saying, talking about or getting ready to bring to fruition or to pass. Bring it out. Warn the people. And that ye be not slothful, but meaning lazy. But followers, even though we in these beat down bodies, pray. Pray for more strength. And, and remember now, one video, you know what I'm saying, a day. Come on now, 10 minutes. It's 24 hours in a day. You mean tell me, and it is sad too. You mean tell me you can't give your Hawa Bahashem Yahweh shot 10 minutes of your nine busy day. And ain't none of us that damn busy. Now, some of us do got jobs, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, it calls for a lot, but we at least got 10 minutes that we can go. You mean tell me you ain't took no break, no lunch all day? You might you might need to switch jobs then and be not slothful, lazy, but followers of them who through faith, we got examples of that on the earth right now and in the scriptures. But followers, well, what to say, be ye not they um, that ye be not slothful, lazy, but followers of them who through faith believing in something that you don't see and patience. And with the faith, you go through the suffering, inherit the promises. That's who's gonna inherit the promises. Those that had the faith, you no know saying they had the works back behind it. Because remember, faith without works is dead. And what, what, what else you want me to get, Lord? What else you want me to get? The Lord said, feed them, feed them then. Do we all of us gotta do our part. Each and every last one of us. Let's get this. I want to get this and end it. James chapter 2, what is it, 18? Let's see. So we started at 17. James chapter 2, verse 17. Even so, faith to believe in some that you don't see, right? Remember, the Lord said he's not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love. And that's a confident scripture right there, too, man. The Lord said, I see you, I see you working. I see you putting them videos in. I see, I see that charity. 
know what I'm saying? And you doing it, you know what I'm saying? Because the right thing to do, you ain't doing it because you want a reward. You see? And then the thing, we, we always go through this too, you know what I'm saying? Me and the brothers, it's either in you or it ain't. It's got to be in you. Being brotherly, that's got to already be in you. Being charitable, that has to already be in you. All right? All these different spiritual gifts, it, look, it has to come from on high, man. You see? Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. So anybody can say they got faith. Where your works at, though? Where you, I believe in the Lord. I believe in the Lord. Where your videos at then? You see? Yea, a man may say, thou hast faith. And I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. This devil about to come in like a fly. I will bring it. I bring this one last one out. This devil about to come in like a flood, like a madman. Remember, the Lord said the beginning of sorrows, the beginning of death, the beginning of evils, all that. Um, uh, the, the beginning of famine. And the powers shall all hell bring, and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, I meaning bad times. You better give Jake a warning from the Lord. The Lord said, Give them one from. I'm going to have to end it on that too. Revelation chapter 12. Just get this. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, and it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe, destruction to the inhabitants of the earth. And the sea, because pursuant to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, right? A wicked nation of people rule the earth. Hell, I just got a strike. Uh, well, I ain't getting no strike. They took down one of my videos. Tell me some, um, it was, it was uh, I, I, I reported on um, Hurricane Milton, you know what I'm saying? And they, they took down my video for that. For showing a video of a hurricane coming through. This devil has lost his damn mind for real, Israel. I put up a little one minute clip of Hurricane Milton, you know what I'm saying? And this devil, you know what I'm saying, said it called it called it misinformation. What? Showing a hurricane, man. This devil is losing it, man. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. This deceiver, this slanderer, sleazy E, man. He going into slavery soon, come too. Him and all these other heathen nations. They're going into hardcore slavery. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil, the deceiver, the slanderer, slays the E. Esau, Edom, uh, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombirds, the Offenheimers, the Shook and Groovers, the DuPonts. So forth and so on, right? The Clintons, the Bushes. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. A short time to do what? A short time to rule the earth, man. You see? That sand, the sand, that hourglass is running out. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, man. This devil, he, he, he's about to lose his power. Lord Yahweh is coming back to take the power from this devil, man. You see? And I want to get this last one. So he warning our people, this man's coming in with great wrath, sparing none, but only spoiling those that fear the Lord, man. So, so it's our job as watchmen of the Lord to warn the people. Ezekiel 3 and 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, a people before us a place. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. So the Lord said, give them one for me. It don't matter. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I had a headache. I don't feel good. My stomach hurt. Every day of the week, though. Every day of the week. So you ain't got no time throughout the day to where you feel um, all right enough to do a video. Now, 10 minutes out of every day, you don't feel good. 24 hours in a day, you don't feel good. None of them times, right? Come on, man. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. Shalom.